there welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is troy and today i'm going to share with you a whole house clean with me so this video is a whole house clean with me it was filmed though over a couple of days i start downstairs and um when i'm cleaning downstairs you will probably notice that my hair is longer and i did cut it just yesterday so it is a lot shorter i think my hair was like down to here here it was quite long before I cut it I think it was like to here to my waist um, but it was just getting to be way too much work with three kids I could not manage it anymore so I cut it yesterday I hope that you guys like it it's very fresh I feel like when I first cut my hair it needs a couple days to just like calm down so it looks a little crazy but it will relax into the haircut i just i don't know if you guys ever experienced that but i straightened it today just to kind of help it out a little bit but i do have pretty straight hair so hopefully i won't need to straighten it forever anyways i hope that you guys like this video i hope it is some good cleaning motivation for you so i think i was saying i start downstairs in this video and work my way upstairs so i'm upstairs today i'm gonna clean up before i have to go feed this little one some lunch and yeah, if you don't know, my name's Troy. Did I say that already? My name's Troy. Um, I have three kids. I have twin boys who are five. They just turned five. And then I have Hannah. She's here playing. She is seven months old today. How crazy is that? I hope that you guys liked this video. Like I said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new. I would love to have you here and give this video a thumbs up if you like my cleaning videos. Take it slow, where you go, I go to And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me Let's take it Ask me how we got 
right here Cause you don't know how You say we're taking on water Yeah, we're sinking now You're looking all concerned Like we're gonna drown But we both know how to swim No worries, let's go for now Let's take it slow Where you go, I go too And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me Let's take it Taking control If we Try to believe In anything greater than a miracle It wouldn't be this difficult If we We try to be A negative bull Yeah We could be taking control Yeah Negative bull Yeah We could be taking control Yeah Negative bull Yeah We could be taking control Yeah Negative bull Yeah We could be taking control
They all see that it's a lie Cause we always give it one last try Yeah, you've watched me break a thousand times Now I'm all alone Cause you never show You say you will But then you don't That's how it goes Don't wanna know I'm turning off my mind so I get by I just wanna be happy
So it's way later in the day I cleaned this morning, um, but I thought I would just tell you a couple things about this room. This is my bedroom that I share with my husband and all my kids pretty much. Um, but I just want to tell you a few things because I feel like they need explaining and I probably won't do a voiceover because I'm going to upload this tomorrow and I'm just tired. I don't think I'll do one tonight. So this is where I nurse Hannah every day. I always keep my drink here. Those are her books that I read her at like bedtime and nap time and then I keep this here obviously because it's nice to have somewhere to put things like my drink but I also keep like her diapers in here I keep snacks in here bibs and extra like face cloths or like burp cloths um, so very very handy if you guys are looking for a really inexpensive table to keep where you're nursing highly recommend just like a Rubbermaid tote table <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it. Well, Hannah is really, if you can hear her screaming. So Hannah sleeps here, and then this is my bedside table. I keep this face cloth here. I feel like that's a weird thing to keep on your bedside table, but I keep it here so that at night when I come to bed and she's already been sleeping for hours, I can put my phone and my headphones and my glasses down without making that noise. So I put them there. And so it doesn't disturb her because she literally has her head right here where you can see where I picked her up from her nap today and then this is my desk I do have a full-time job actually a part-time job um, to go back to after my maternity leave next summer in a year basically um, so that's why I have a desk in my bedroom because it's like the only quiet spot I work from home a lot in my job and it's like the only quiet spot in the house when the kids are home so my husband used to work afternoons. He'd be home with the husband with my kids and I'd be working and this is where I would work. So now I just keep it here to store things pretty much like important things for the kids. Um file, there's like a little filing cabinet section down here and then obviously printer, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, everything is kind of shifted in this room because usually my desk is where Hannah's crib is and then my mirror is now stuck back here. I can't get it out. It's just a full length mirror and it usually goes right here because my desk is usually where Hannah's crib is. So I am working on her nursery every single day. I've been ordering tons of stuff for her room. So it will be ready soon. If you guys want to see it, I'll show it on here. You'll obviously see it when I clean it, but if you want me to do like a tour, you'll just have to let me know. 
um because i wasn't planning on doing that at least on not on this channel i probably will share that on my other channel if you don't know i have another channel called troy and her boys another issue is the title of that channel because i have a girl now but anyways and then this i just want to explain my dresser here a little bit I just feel like in my bedroom is the place where I don't want to have pictures of my kids. I have pictures downstairs of my kids everywhere. Very important to have lots of family photos. But this is just like a me and my husband kind of spot. Um, obviously not, I don't mean the bedroom because Hannah sleeps here now. But this actual spot is like my little shrine to us. So here I have a, our wedding photo album. That was us giving our vows, and I have tons of wedding photos in here. Um, you can see me and my bridesmaids, our wedding, tons of pictures. And then these are obviously just some of our favorite wedding photos. I love this one with all the green in it. And some obviously just fake flowers from HomeSense. And then this jewelry box was a gift. It has the date of our wedding on there and my name and then all my jewelry's in there. I'm not going to show that, but yeah. So this is kind of just like where I keep pictures of me and Ivan. And I just feel like that's really important. So no kid pictures in here, just a picture of my dog. <laughs> And I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show. Oh, the last thing I wanted to show you guys. The last thing I wanted to show you was this pillow because I moved it when I was vacuuming and I'm like, I feel like people are going to be wondering why I have a pillow here. But basically, when Hannah was little, I would be nursing her here and then she would fall asleep. And then the boys would bust in my door or the dog and it would slam into this thing and make a banging noise and it would wake her up like every single time and I just couldn't stand it anymore. These are baby pillows from when the boys were little, like toddler pillows, um, that they never used because we never gave them a pillow and then they had big pillow, whatever. So, um, so yeah, I just put it there. So if you guys are having an issue with the door banging and a baby sleeping and people coming in and out, even like when I come in and out and she's sleeping, it's great because I don't have to worry about catching the door before it hits the wall or hits the whatever that thing's called door jam thing so yeah that's a good tip i use all the time all right guys that's it that's my bedroom all clean i've not cleaned it up this nicely and since before hannah was born so very feeling very accomplished today all right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will catch you in my next one. Bye.